Today I want to talk about a tool that is uh, an automation tool for macOS and uh, it's essentially a bridge between the operating system and Lua which is a powerful scripting engine. So um, I'm gonna show you how I use it and why I like it. First of all let me tell you that this is a tool that allowed me to get rid of a number of extensions and programs I was using before to have just one that I can configure exactly the way I want it. Previously, for example, I was using a rectangle for Windows management, uh, or I was using a like, Spanso for uh, handling things like date and time, uh, outputting UITs, uh, or having predefined snippets of text. Now I can do all of this through Hammerspoon. So let's have a, let's have a look at it. So this is Hammerspoon. This is the Hammerspoon website, hammerspoon.org, and here it tells you how to install it. You can install it through the latest version and then drag and drop, or you can simply use Homebrew, where you can do brew install cask Hammerspoon. Now, coming back to the website, you can see um, how to learn the scripting language that powers this very amazing tool at lua.org. Um, and you can go through it and there is also learn x from y where essentially is gonna explain to you all the basics like creating variables comments etc so let's move to vs code where basically i'm gonna show you my um my current setting for the tool so let's have a look at what i have in here this is i'm inside my home directory a folder called Hammerspoon. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So we have three folders. One are spoons, which is essentially uh, where, which is essentially where all of our extensions are gonna go. And mine, uh, in this case, is empty because I wanted to learn uh, everything from scratch. Then I have an init dot Lua which is basically the first one uh, file that I can do. Um, and this is the first example that is shown on the Hammerspoon website, where if I co press Ctrl, um, Command and Alt plus W, what I'm gonna get is a Hello World um, notification. This is a native notification actually. Um, the second one, the second two files I made are called screen positions, which I call through the required function similar to JavaScript and the string helpers. Now in the screen positions, what I do, I bind uh, alt and control to the arrow right function where I can do alt control right and left or enter full full screen. So I can do this to go full screen. Here I declare the function to go in full screen. I can do control alt. In this case is apostrophe, but in a query keyboard, this might just do Q because it's the Borak actually. So I can do control alt Q, control alt W, control alt A, control alt S. And what I'm actually doing, I'm essentially setting the window frame to a quarter of the screen. Um, another thing that I wanted to do was to use string helpers where you can do uh, command, alt, control, and D, and you can output the today's date in the format that you prefer. Um, and of course, there are many more things that you can actually handle. Now, to handle things like screen positions, you don't actually have to install anything. What you can actually do you can basically use some predefined uh, um, tools. One of them uh, is, for example, the WinWin -win module, which is a Hammerspoon uh, uh, spoon extension, where essentially you can have different uh, grid parts, you can uh, resize windows, and uh, is make it things easy to handle. Um, you can also move the screen, you can have a step to move the window by a certain amount, uh, etc. Now, the reason I did not use 
uh, this extension is because I actually wanted to learn exactly what was happening and how I could do it so that if I want to have more power I can actually handle it um, nicely. Uh, other things that uh, we can uh, we can do inside of our configuration um, are things like for example you can define uh, variables so for example uh, in this case very often I'm bending things to alt and control so what I could do I could ref I could declare this as a variable and uh, declare this for example as uh, C control alt and then uh, control alt would essentially I'm gonna declare it at the top of the file would uh, literally be simply um, control alt equal to alt and control so that you know if I want to change the shortcut somewhere I can do it everywhere else so I can go to hammer spoon icon which is this hammer icon here and click reload config and now everything still works exactly the same as before um, now there is a lot you can do and um, yeah that's the one that I use for uh, strings you can add for GUIDs you can have uh, given that you have the full uh, Lua scripting language on your power this is pretty easy to handle now I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it uh, please leave a thumb up and if you like to see more of this of this kind please leave a comment below uh, see you in the next one bye bye